Hello everyone, John Joker 12 back here again with another video, and today I'm reviewing the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods theatrical trailer that Funimation just released just yesterday. Now first off, I'd like to say that previously I was not going to review this trailer because for one, it's something we've already seen. I've seen the movie already, and I'm pretty sure all of you have seen the movie already, so don't act surprised that there are things in there that you haven't seen before because you have seen it before, so stop lying. But... The biggest thing that I really wanted to review this trailer for was the voice cast, and that's the big thing that's topic of the day for me personally. I don't know about anybody else, but that's, for me, it personally is. Because today, we get our first taste as to what the voice cast is going to sound like for the theatrical movie. First off, the original cast is back, which is great. I like that. But you can obviously tell they're going the Kai route. I stated this in prior videos, and it's something that I've been thinking about a lot, was that whether or not Funimation and the Dragon Ball Z cast would do the Kai route for every future Dragon Ball installment and in, you know the franchise and it kinda of proves my point when you watch the trailer you can obviously tell they're going the Kai route with a lot of things whether it would be the dialogue or uh, the way people are talking and you can tell that with various voice casters but the biggest thing that I want to talk about was of course the voice casting of Beerus and Whis but I'll get that to the end First off, I love the fact that all the original cast members, or the Kai members, if, you, if, if you'd if rather go that way, is back. I, I love them, and I think Sean Chemo as Goku coming back is just icing on the cake. Uh, to me, he's my definitive Goku. You guys can debate over that, but for me, it's Sean Chemo all the way for Goku. He does the best Kamehameha. That's just my opinion. You can hate for that, but fuck it, I don't care. First off, he did a great job. Uh, it just sounds amazing. It just sounds really great. One of the big things that I found that was kind of weird that I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with, um, I've heard various other people say this, is that Chris Sabat's voice for Vegeta and Shenlong. One of the big things is that you can tell that he definitely changed the pacing of Shenlong because obviously in the anime, Shenlong obviously talks very, very, very slowly. But in the trailer, he's obviously talking in a higher um, um, pace. So, first off, it doesn't really bother me, but it definitely felt kind of weird. I can honestly say it just sounds kind of weird. Now, as for Vegeta, we hardly hear Vegeta throughout the trailer that much, but we do get a couple good shots as to, you know, him from the movie. You know, obviously him getting pissed off when Beerus obviously slaps Boma and just going on a raging attack on him. That's something that we've obviously seen. But Vegeta, uh, Chris Sabat's voice as Vegeta this time around, I don't know, it kind of sounds weird. It kind of, he, you can obviously tell it's his Kai voice versus his original voice, you can obviously tell. And I don't know, it kind of just, for me it's kind of off-putting, you know, and plus, I've heard various other people say that it's not as brooding or pissed off as Vegeta should be. And I guess there's an argument to be said about that, I mean, first off, this is a new Vegeta, obviously. This is Vegeta post Kid Buu saga, so obviously he's not as pissed off or aggravated with the Z Warriors or Earth as he was prior, so it's not that big of a deal. But then again, that scene in particular obviously asks for a very angry voice, so I don't know. I guess that's Chris Sabat's um, choice. He is the director for the cast. Um, and the, for the voice cast on Dragon Ball Z, so it's his decision overall, so it doesn't really bother me, but I can definitely say that I would have liked Chris Sabat to be more pissed off uh, when it comes to him voicing Vegeta, but overall, everybody else is great, uh, Chris Sabat is great, Shin, Sean Shemo is just icy on the cake, everything's great, everybody's back, you know, you have Kara Edwards, Justin Cook, Chuck Huber, uh, you know, obviously Laura Bailey, Kyle Ebert, they're all back, and that's all awesome and great, uh, but the big thing, of course, is, that that I wanted to talk about other than Beerus and Whis is the dialogue. Obviously, in this trailer, we get our first taste as to new, to the dialogue of the characters. First off, I have to say that you can obviously tell that they kind of tweaked it versus the Japanese version a little bit. And I think that's a good decision, but I don't think it was the best decision. I personally think if they wanted to differentiate themselves from the Japanese version, they should have gone all the way with changing of the dialogue. Because if you remember from my prior Battle of Gods videos, I had a big problem with the dialogue of Battle of Gods. I just think that Toriyama kind of half-assed the writing when it came to Battle of Gods. It's like he just came up with the story and was like, okay, you guys just say whatever you usually say. You know, it's like, 
for a movie of this magnitude, you should have came up with better dialogue, you know? And I know a lot of, I know this is debated against fans, you know, fans, when it comes to the English dub, they want everything the characters say um, from what the Japanese say, and I personally don't think that's the right choice with English dubs, you know, because everything that's translated doesn't get the same justice as it does with its original dub, you know, everything that's that may sound cool in the Japanese version doesn't sound as cool coming from English actors, so when it comes to English dubbing, I personally like the fact that um, actors change the dialogue of characters, that's what I personally like. You know, but you can tell that they obviously went the Kai route where they kept the majority of the Japanese version of dialogue, but tweaked it a little bit. But that's okay and all, but I personally would have liked it that they changed the dialogue completely because, I don't know, I just never liked the dialogue of Battle of Gods. But personally, it's alright with me, it's not a big deal, but when thinking about um, their version of the Kai voices for Battle of Gods, uh, it just makes me more believe the fact that everything else that they use will be from the original version of the movie. And a lot of people have been debating this as to whether or not um, the Funimation will give Battle of Gods its own score, original score for the movie. And I kind of highly doubt, from, from watching that little trailer and from listening to the voices, I can honestly say that I'm pretty sure Funimation is just going to use the same score from the original Japanese movie. So. It's kind of unfortunate for me personally because I don't know about anybody else, but I don't hate the score for Battle of Gods. Don't get me wrong. I like the, the score. It's good. I like the songs in it. It's all nice and, and funny games, but I personally would have liked for this Battle of Gods version to have its own original score. You know, that's what I personally liked. I would like it to have its own original uh, dialogue, its own original score, its own... I just want its own original soundtrack. That's one of the big things. And I kind of like, based off the from what I've seen in the trailer, I'm pretty sure that they might not go that route, and they might just use the score from, you know, the original soundtrack, which is not a big deal, but I personally would have liked, you know, some new music, especially some good old American music. I mean, come on. This is the American dub. Just because it's a Japanese product doesn't mean we have to do everything the Japanese did. So that's just my personal thoughts. But let's get right to the uh, to the creme de la creme, which of course is the Be Beerus and Whis voices. First off, they're great. I love Beerus's voice. He's uh, obviously voiced. Um, Beerus and Whis are voiced both by their respected Battle of Z character voices, voice actors, which is of course Jason Douglas, who did Beerus, and Ian C. Clair, who did Whis. And of course, you may know them from various other stuff from um, in anime. Of course, Ian Sinclair obviously um, is the voice of Dandy from Space Dandy, which is an anime I per, uh, previously reviewed on my channel. And plus, Jason Douglas has obviously done various other things. And of course, he was King Cold in DBZ Kai, I think. I'm pretty sure he was. So, of course, they're fucking awesome voice um, actors. Personally, I have no fault with their voices. Ian Sinclair's uh, version of Whis is okay. It doesn't bother me that much. Um, Jason Douglas's Beerus is awesome. It's definitely everything that I would have loved to Beerus to sound like in an English version, so I have no fault with it. He sounds demonic. He sounds cool. He sounds cocky. He obviously sounds like he can kick anybody's ass, which, of course, he does in the movie. So... Jason's version of um, Beerus is awesome. It's definitely going to be just a great performance. You know, it's just awesome. So, that's personally um, going to be it, guys. What did you guys think about the theatrical trailer? What do you think about the cast? What do you think about the voices? What do you think about uh, your thoughts on the new dialogue or whether or not it'll be the same dialogue? And also, what are your, what are your definitive thoughts on the soundtrack for the English version of Battle of Gods? I've already given you all my thoughts, but overall, I give this trailer an A+. It's definitely a good 9.0, in my opinion, just for um, the casting of Beerus and Whis. Like, they're just great. And, of course, Sean Shemmel is, of course, great, as always, and the rest of the cats are always great. So, I'm definitely um, waiting to see this movie. We've yet to get tickets as to whether or not, you know, um, when they're going to come out, and obviously, we've yet to get an official, you know, uh section state by section uh, as to whether or not which theater they're going to see this but of course you can all get the those updates on either by email the battle of gods website or funimation's website you can all get it there 
But personally, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been John Trick 12.